Hi, my name's Ethan. I'm a Republican from the state of Florida, and I'm actually the treasurer of my co local college Republicans chapter. I've been involved in Republican politics since I was maybe 14 or 15. I've volunteered, I've worked on campaigns, and it's sad to say, but the leader of my party does not represent what my party is supposed to be about. This is supposed to be a party of limited government, a party that supports a democratic internationalism pushing freedom abroad. This isn't a party that should be abusing emergency national declarations that we know that a president AOC down the line could use to jam her Green New Deal down our throats. This isn't a party that should be supporting restrictions on free trade and leaving the Kurds for slaughter. This isn't a party that should be supporting, trying to coerce an ally of ours to interfere in our elections. Donald Trump does not represent what the Republican Party is about. Well, our last president, George W. Bush, served with honor. He ran on restoring honor and decency to the White House after Bill Clinton had done away with as much of that as he could. Donald Trump, on the other hand, has done the opposite. Donald Trump has cheated on his wife with a porn star and paid her hush money payments out of the White House. You can't even argue that he supported us that much on policy. Sure, he's done some tax cuts that I would support, but he's ballooned the deficit. He's withdrawing us from the Trans-Pacific Partnership. He's letting Russia and China stomp all over us. I mean, just the other day we were finding out about Donald Trump uh, not doing anything when he was confronted with intelligence that was showing that Russia was putting bounties on our troops' heads. This is not what the Republican Party should be. If Barack Obama had led, uh, had let Russia get away with what Trump has let them get away with when it comes to these bounties, either through negligence, through not reading the briefings, or through being too scared, we would rightfully be demanding that he do everything in his power to get back at Russia. But right now what we see is total silence. Instead, what we see from this president is that when it comes to his buddy Roger Stone, he gets a pardon for lying under oath to protect the president from the consequences of his actions. We see a failure to lead when it comes to the greatest pandemic in my lifetime. Look at what's going on right now with this pandemic, we see cases resurging. We flattened the curve successfully because of a lot of our governors taking proper action, but that whole flattening of the curve was supposed to be so that we could get a testing regime in place that could work, so that we could get contact tracers in place, so we could make meaningful progress before our ICU beds started to fill up. We've done almost none of that at the national level. Trump has failed to lead. It wasn't until today that he even bothered to put a mask on, something that the CDC has been recommending for months in pretty much every way imaginable. Donald Trump has failed to lead. He's been a corrupt president and a president that has undermined the conservative values that have drawn me to the Republican Party. I, I, I cannot in good conscience support this president. As my shirt would note, I am going to be voting for Joe Biden in November. I don't agree with him on much, but he's an honorable and decent man from everything that I've seen. And he's a hell of a lot better than what we have in the White House right now. I wish I could vote for a conservative on the ballot, but sadly, neither of the two major parties have produced one. And well, if neither of them are conservatives, then at the least I can do is vote for the one that isn't corrupt and immoral. And that's Joe Biden, and that's who I plan on voting for.